hello and welcome back so we're still having a few problems here on the checkout uh, first of all it doesn't clean this amount here which i am surprised by so every time i show a model and it's the amount paid model um, i expect the this value to be empty so js amount paid the focus does work but why doesn't the value work okay here because we are using a double equal sign we are assigning so let's put a single and that's all we needed to do actually so if i refresh and start again like this uh, click checkout it's empty so here i'll do 30. let's try a smaller number like 10 or none at all so i'm just going to say next not a number so already we have a problem there uh, none means it couldn't calculate so it's really not a number so what i should do is first of all instead of just checking if one is smaller i should check if this is not empty before i even parse it as a floating point what i should do is go here and say if amount is equal to empty string uh, then return but we can put an alert as well and say uh, please enter a valid amount please enter a valid amount but we want to make things easy for the user so uh, we want to grab the item uh, that's the amount paid and then focus it so where do we do that we do it from here uh, let me copy all of this here hmm, my dear amount paid model blah 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 there's only one amount paid input so let me just uh, copy this right here please enter a valid amount and then we'll say instead of my div let's just do document since it's it will be the only one with this uh, class name dot focus so refresh and let's try again click and let's try next please enter a valid amount and we get that amount must be higher or equal to the total okay great let's try 20 okay so there we go and uh, this is our change uh it doesn't look too good does it hmm 0 0.000000 too many decimal places we just need two decimal places so continue and so what do we do so there's an amount here and this is equal to minus that let's say change mm -hmm. why did it even uh, go to that amount i'm not even sure uh let's see mm. in order to limit um decimal places you can say change dot um, let's see what do we do here change is equal to change itself uh, no we say math actually it's change dot to fixed i think hmm let's try this and see what happens change to fixed two i think yeah that's two decimal places let's see if that works at all here i had burger crisps and then two of those so burger crisps burger crisps and i added two of these crisps yeah 19.9 check out and let's put 20 
and say next and there we go is that even correct at all oh yeah it is okay so that's your change and continue there we go now once we continue we want this to be empty if things go well we empty this before we show the change so what do we do right here um, we hide the model show a different model and after all that uh, what i want to do is clear items so i'm just going to say items is equal to empty array and then uh, refresh items display like so so let's try this again boom 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 check out 20 uh, next there we go and uh, what's this uh, continue okay so it already depleted them right there all right seems to be working it means we are ready for a next customer check out uh, let's try 200 there let's uh, the change and uh, let's continue and we're ready for another gig okay so very well things are working well the only problem is we are not sending the data that we are deleting from the cart so before we do this we have to send what's inside items into uh, using send data like so okay so here uh, we'll say send data to through ajax so we'll save cart data so how do we do that we just use this right here send data and uh, we are here so data type is equal to checkout uh, instead of text we are expecting eh, text is fine so we're going to put the contents of items in here so I'll put items like so but then because once we click send data it's going to json encode the whole thing uh, it will be fine uh, this array is going to be encoded as well so we send data then we empty things and uh, that's it mm -hmm. very good so for now uh, the send data will not do anything uh, it's just there for future reference so refresh boom, 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 boom. check out 100 next 30 uh, continue okay now we have a bigger problem so let me inspect here what's going on uh, oh yeah i think uh, there's a results issue here happening so we have data type uh, which does not exist so if we go to controllers and go to ajax it does get to this point the only problem is this data type search this is for data type search so yeah so we need some contingency plans where for when uh, things don't work out. Uh, let's come back here for a second. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so I do send data here, but then I refresh, I empty this and refresh items. Huh. Okay, so the reason that this is happening is we don't bring back any result. But then when getting a result, it empties the this right here. So this, uh, this is a mistake. 
This should only happen if the data type was a search. So let's fix that real quickly in the handle result. Uh, let's go to handle result. Where is that? Handle result. So this is the thing. Object type, uh, product, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so the problem is that we empty, uh, wait, handle result. Yeah, the problem is we are emptying things from the get-go, even before we know what type of data we've received. So I guess this was a mistake. So nothing we can do about this. Let me remove this from here. It should go to handle result and uh, inside the search right there and paste this is where this should happen so let's see what we have okay all right we seem to be having a problem still console my div is undefined okay so that is undefined because it's declared here so i should have carried the whole thing cut that and paste it here uh -huh. okay so that should help there we go very cool let's also close the uh, console.log we don't need that for now let's uh, mute it so I add some items, uh, try to check out 40 and uh, my change is there, uh, continue and we are back to zero, we start again, my total is 119, go. Okay, so that is pretty good. The only thing that's not happening is that the data is not being saved. So. The data requires to be saved and then we can fix a few other things like when we click checkout um, if I press enter like this I don't I don't go to this so what I can do is in this I can add a key press event that will try and uh, listen for the enter key and then act like it has clicked next, right? So that's a simple thing to do. So let's find a key press event on this one. Let me go up here and uh, this is the checkout right here. Uh, we'll put an on key up. Key up is better. So um, what do we do here? So the key up event uh, will check to see if things are good, then it's as good as clicking here. Now, the only problem is um, the event will be different, right? But it does not matter because even this, when we do a parent, and come back to this we're going to get back here so it really does not matter okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so i may create a function down there that checks to see if it's the right key because i don't want it to respond to every key because right now like this it will respond to every key let me refresh um, add some items and if I click, try to type it to respond and say amount must be higher. And then until I put a valid amount, then it does that. But I don't want it to respond to every key. So I can send it to a different function. And then if the key is correct, send it to this one. Or because the code that's required is very simple, I can just use a key event, key press event. So I can just say if event dot key code now the key code for this one is 13 right if it's equal to 13 then do that because remember in uh, a javascript if there's only one line after the if statement you don't even need to put the brackets 
these brackets for like this but you can do this if you want like this if you have several lines and then put a semicolon to put another line here if you have more than one line to deal with but you don't need to do that if it's just one line so if key code is equal to 13 it will respond so i'm going to click on checkout let's try this again and then let's type uh, 20 and then press enter and there we go okay aha uh -huh. this doesn't respond either now for the close to respond what we can do is put it on um, where is this this is on the change we can put this in a form that's the second way to do things if you don't want to do it with javascript because form buttons do respond to enter key if that's the submit button so uh let's see what do we do here let's see if that works just by adding a form no it doesn't work so it would only work if this button is of type submit so let's try that uh, click, clickety click, 10, enter, enter. Doesn't seem to work still. Right. Okay, so maybe, um, maybe that doesn't work. So let's undo this. Let's do it the, <laughs> the way we, do, we did it here uh, with this. So press event on I don't even know how we can figure that out hmm you know what we should just set focus to the button itself that's a second way to do it instead of doing this because here we can't really focus the button because we have an input to focus but here we don't have an input so we can really just focus on the button itself so this close button here, let's just give it a name. And this one will be, uh, let's say, JS uh, BTN uh, close uh, change. These names are just random, so you can create your own. So copy that. Let's go down to, uh, where is this? When we show this um this show show model right here so when we show the change model right here while we're grabbing other things let's also grab uh this one the change one and then let's just do a dot focus like that that way it's focused so when we press enter that's the button that's going to be active so if I add like this and click and say 20, enter. And then you can see now it's in focus because it's highlighted. So any enter click here is going to deal with that. Because it's very convenient for the cashier to have to use the keyboard most of the time. Mouse is clunky. So they may waste time with customers like that. So I think things are working very well on the main page here. We should also put that pause button eventually so that we can save a um, I think I'll check what it says whether it's a pause button or not but so far things are working well the only thing that we need now is to have that data saved to the database whatever data we capture here okay 